Hello everyone. Today's video is about giant tortoises, so I apologize if it's a bit slow. I'd like to apologize to everyone who was physically hurt by this awful pun. Tortoises fall into the order of testudines, which includes turtles. Although some might use those two words interchangeably, they are different. Simply put, tortoises are land-dwelling and turtles live in water. I'd like to talk about the Galapagos tortoises specifically. As the name might indicate, they live on the Galapagos Islands. And actually, the islands were named after the tortoises, not the other way around. When the islands first appeared on the maps, they were named by Spanish explorers as Insuana de los Galapagos, I think. Which means, Island of the Tortoises. So I guess the Galapagos tortoise basically means tortoise tortoise? They are the largest species of tortoises, with some members weighing over 400 kilograms and measuring 187 centimeters in length. They are pretty long-lived as well, with their lifespan in the wild being over 100 years and captive individuals living even longer. They are so big they can carry a person on top of them without much of a fuss, which doesn't mean you should. But despite this feature, I guess it's pretty obvious why they didn't come to replace horses they were too delicious to be used as a means of transport. In fact, they were so delicious that most of the historic writings describing the tortoises were not about its scientific features, but of its deliciousness and comparisons to other meats and how inferior they were compared to the tortoise. Basically, every edible part of the beast was praised for being the most delicious thing anyone had ever tasted. It took around 300 years for them to get a scientific or Latin name because none of them survived the trip to be analysed because they were eaten on the voyage. Well, that makes a bit of sense, because there's no Latin name for M&Ms either, and they're delicious as well. Not a sponsor. I'd like to have seen the faces on the ship's crew when they had to explain why they failed to deliver even a single specimen for research after probably setting sail with tons of them on board. It's not like they were difficult to catch. The tortoises are barely more mobile than a stone and have about as many defensive mechanisms as cucumbers. They were just picked up, carried onto the ship, stacked upside down on top of each other, and that was that. They were the perfect food for sea voyages because they required no food or water for at least a year and they even had special bladders which stored drinkable water. I mean, they even came in their own bowls, so I'm not surprised they were so popular. They used to be all over the Galapagos archipelago, with a population of about 250,000. But thanks to our big appetite, we got that number down to about 3,000 in the 1970s. Pirates used the islands as a pit stop prior to attacking the Spanish colonies on the mainland. They were very popular amongst whalers thanks to their unfortunate features. Around 13,000 were taken by them between 1831 and 1868, and over 100,000 were taken before that. Luckily, if you can say that, crude oil came along and phased out the commercial whaling business. In an odd way, crude oil was actually somewhat of an environmental saviour at the time, but I'll get into the history of this black gold in another video. Conservation efforts have helped the tortoise's population bounce back a bit, but the introduction of feral animals and human agriculture has ensured that their population will never reach its former numbers. Galapagos Islands aren't the only islands with large tortoises. Canary Islands used to have their own giant tortoises. But I said used to have for a reason, because yeah, they're extinct. Not because of us though. You can blame volcanic eruptions for that. Seychelles are doing rather well when it comes to their species of Aldabra giant tortoises population which is around 100,000. One member, called Ardwaita, is estimated to be the longest-lived tortoise of our times, having lived over 250 years. He died in 2006, which puts his estimated birthday, or hatch day, I guess, in the early 1750s, which makes him older than Beethoven and Mozart. If you've been paying attention, you might have noticed that all the giant tortoises I've mentioned are native to islands, and you might be thinking that it's probably due to island gigantism. But that is not the case with our shelled friends. 
They were already large when they got there, and their size just helped them colonize the islands, because their large bodies tolerated temperature fluctuations and droughts very well, which is commonplace on those islands. I can only wonder that they moved to the islands because they were fleeing other animals who had a taste for them, and after settling down and enjoying life for a while on the islands, we humans came along, and now they are looking for new frontiers for peace and quiet. I mean... Space, although it's pretty large, isn't a long-term option either, because we're aiming there as well. I hope I didn't inspire any aspiring Gourmet Club members in this video. That wasn't my goal. Please don't eat them. Eat M&Ms instead. Again, not a sponsor. That's all I have to say on the unfortunately delicious lives of giant tortoises. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.